Hot tips will ruin you. If you want to be a successful investor, be boring. Please get some experience and please focus on what you already know. Don't listen to hot tips. We're all going to be down at the bar on Saturday. And I promise you, at least 10 people are going to come over and say, you know, let me tell you about this company. Let me tell you about this stock. It is going to go through the roof. It is the best thing since sliced bread. You should buy this stock. And if you don't listen to him, don't worry. Someone else will come over and give you a hot tip. Please ignore them. It is not a good sign when you go to the dentist and the receptionist talks, he wants to talk to you about stocks. Don't get excited when everybody's excited. And please, if everybody's depressed, you should get excited. Emotions do usually do not help when you're trying to make investment decisions. We're all human beings and we all have emotions, which can be a negative. Being cold-blooded and heartless can be useful if you are going to be a successful investor. Everybody should learn to only invest in what you yourself know a lot about. Don't listen to other people. Don't listen to hot chips. I mean, everybody watching this knows a lot about something fashion, sports, cars, something. And that's where you should focus. If I told you you only had 25 investments in your lifetime, you would be careful. You wouldn't jump in and out. Every time you heard a hot story, you wouldn't invest. You would be very careful and you would be successful. I know everybody thinks this is easy. It's never been easy for me. So please, Focus, concentrate, be disciplined, and wait until you find a good opportunity yourself. People will say, oh, that's boring. Be boring. If you want to be a successful investor, be boring. Diversification is not going to make you rich. Diversification is something that brokers came up with to protect themselves. So you, they won't sue you. And if they sue you, they won't win because you diversify. If you want to get rich, you focus. You put all of your eggs in one basket. You better be sure it's the right basket. And you better watch that basket very, very closely. But that's how you get rich. Henry Ford didn't diversify. Thomas Watson didn't diversify. He's trying to put all her eggs in the right basket and got very rich. Is the problem with success is you think you know what you're doing, you think you're smart, you get cocky, you get arrogant. I learn more from my mistakes than I do from my successes. I wish it were easy. We all see the guy on the front page of the newspaper and say, oh my gosh, I could do that. I could buy Apple. Well, if it was so easy, we only would have bought Apple. And we would all be as rich as Apple. My success has been to stay with what I know. When I tried to do what somebody else was telling me to do, I usually made a mistake. I know I'm not a good short-term trader. I don't think I'm a good speculator. So I try to find things that are cheap where there's positive change. And it's for me, it's better to find a positive change that will perhaps go on for a long time. For years, that's the best kind of change to find. Not that easy, it doesn't happen often, but when it happens, if you are alert, you might have a great success. I do make mistakes, but what I have learned is if I can find something that's depressed and therefore probably cheap, where there's a major positive change taking place, I might make some money. So cheap and change. Well, that's what I try to do. There's nothing like finding, oh, look over there, that money. Let me go get it. That doesn't happen very often, but if you can find it and it's that obvious and that simple, you'll probably be successful. It's the nature of who I am. If I walk down the streets, so I try to watch to see if something's happening that might be interesting, that could be a change that would lead to an investment. That's just the main history of my life. It doesn't always work. And I don't always see something, but I hope that I'm always on the lookout in case I see something changing that can lead to an investment. I don't always, and sometimes I make mistakes, 
But that essentially is, I have never stopped doing that. Most markets around the world are near all-time highs or have been going up for a long time. So usually the ones that have been up the most and especially the hot stocks in those markets. You know, in the U.S., we have the Magnificent Seven or whatever they're called. You know, they go up every day. Usually when there's a bear market, those will go down the most. So be very worried about buying the hot stocks. Most markets have been making highs. I mean, China's down. I hope Uzbekistan is cheap. I've been buying there. Properties are bubble in many places. Bonds are certainly a bubble in most of the world. So try to find things that are cheap and do your research. And if you know what you're doing, maybe you'll be successful. The Fed doesn't know what they're doing. Most central bankers don't have a clue. Remember, these are bureaucrats and academics who want a government job. I mean, how many people do you know that want a government job? Well, most people want a real job. They don't want to work for the government. But these guys, if they can't get a real job, want to work for the government. And they don't You really know what they're doing. There have been very few who've known what they were doing. I can think of two before. So most of these guys don't know what they were doing. If you want to be successful, you have to figure out the reality of what's going on in the world. You have to listen to these guys because they do have influence and power, but you have to figure out yourself what the reality is and then make decisions. And hopefully you'll get it right occasionally. So I would urge everybody to be worried, be extremely worried, and become knowledgeable, because if you are knowledgeable, you will probably survive whatever happens. If you listen to somebody else and it goes up, you don't know what to do. If it goes down, you don't know what to do. But if you're knowledgeable and you know what you're doing, you will survive and you will probably be very successful. So please, Try to educate yourself as much as you can and make investments accordingly. This is not easy, no matter what it looks like. Be careful and be knowledgeable.